You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. You don't know your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video. Definitely help the channel out because you know your boy gonna always keep up to date on everything in the 2K community. Now, 2K made this post right here and I ain't gonna front with y'all. I'm just gonna be a hundred in this video. Anyway, let's, let me read the post first before I really address it. Now, 2K22 current gen badge update. Because you remember, after the patch, a lot of people lost some major badge counts, right? A lot of people, right? So they said, um, for users with existing save, the badge issue is a cosmetic display issue impacting current gen players. The servers know the proper values and the players can act on those values despite the display potential. Now, they replied to that tweet and said, for players creating new save, they will be limited by the displayed value. That part is unintentional. And what we are working on resolving at the moment, thank you for your patience. Now, I ain't gonna front with y'all, man. One thing you know you're going on to is front. I really think this is some PR. I really think, and it, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I could be completely wrong, right? But what I'm saying is this, right? I think they decided to nerf a lot of the bills, take away a lot of badges, but the way the community responded after the patch they know they have to fix it because this is what i'm going to say this is this, let me tell you why let me tell you why i came to this conclusion right here and this is not a rent video at all if you want rent videos you go to the next channel i'm saying this because they said it's cosmetic they said it's cosmetic but this is not just a cosmetic issue because if it was a cosmetic issue and i think a lot of people was responded that was responded that's why they had to come back and follow up with their next response if this was just a cosmetic issue then it would not affect the new players that are created it wouldn't and a lot of people hit me up and say yo brute guess what this could never be a cosmetic because as soon as i remove the badge it gives me like um some people right because you know if they don't max out the badges they will not be able to change the badges unless they max out the badges so once they apply the badges they wouldn't be able to change it unless you max out the badges that's how that system works it's not like next gen where you could just take off and put off badges as you level up on current gen as you unlock a badge then you could change the different levels but some people actually was missing like one badge one of one the person i played with yesterday he said he was missing one badge because now he actually met the requirement of maxing out the badge by that badge by the badge drop because he was i think he needed probably like one more badge before he could change it he said as soon as he lost the badges now he had full access as soon as he he full, had full access to remove and add badge, so it just was not cosmetic, right? I just, you know, I had to not mess up what he was telling me, right? He told me that yesterday we was playing last night in the wreck. He said when I read this out on stream, he was like, "Hell no, it's not cosmetic. This is not cosmetic." So I really believe they are just trying to really do a little, a quick PR save. When it comes to this issue because this is a big issue a lot of people spend a lot of vc on their bills and you cannot just 
do that to people bills that they spent their money and invested on right and the next thing i want to share with you all before we head out this was actually posted by nba 2k on reddit showing the best fashion runway animations man and this is something i want i ain't going front with y'all um some of the quests requires you to do something after you level up certain levels um when it comes to i forgot what you call it but this is something that's really good um y'all could pause it copy it paste it screen cap it whatever y'all want here it is right here of course Hopefully this helped you all out, man. Anyways, man, let me know what y'all think about the video. Let me know if y'all agree with your boy. Is this, was this a PR save by 2K? Or do you actually believe it is just cosmetic? I don't, man. I ain't gonna front with y'all. I don't. If I did, I would tell y'all. But y'all know I'm gonna always be 100 with y'all, man. That's one thing I could guarantee that this looks like a big PR save by 2K. Anyways, man, y'all know what it is. Your boy same first time to the channel. Make sure like the video, share the video, and hit your boy your sub. Subscribe. If you're not your first time, like the video, share the video. You never know who's gonna be informed, y'all. Your boy same more love, respect, bless up, peace. peace.